Tonight, we are gonna tap back in to the Watts case. I just watched like two days worth of un the unsealed documents that Unjustified read with Troy. And this is allegedly my opinion. I'm gonna use the Witch's Tarot. And I was just getting a feeling not to read them upside down or in reverse. So I'm shuffling them right now. Um, let's see what's going on with this Troy kid. Ace of Wands, the underlying energy is an Ace of Wands. Then we have the Chariot, Two of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Swords, Six of Cups. So the Ace of Wands is like it's a spark, it's a new beginning, it's a new idea, um, it's a new project. I would say he was the mastermind of this idea. Then we have the Chariot. It's like, I'm out of here. The Two of Cups is like, can be new love. I mean, on here, it looks like new love. It's like a partnership. The Queen of Cups. And the King of Swords. See? I guess what is, this is saying is like, this was his idea. He might have had way more to do with it than we thought. I didn't even know about him until someone put it in the comments to read on him. So that's why I wanted to see, if I can see his picture, it's a lot easier. Well, I can just visualize it. So I ended up watching like a couple days worth of these unsealed documents. And what this is saying is like, yeah, he was a mastermind and the executioner. Um, and then we have the Six of Cups that's like, I don't know, it's, I mean, there's two little kids that look pretty happy on there. Seven of Wands. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. This is what I was waiting for. If this came out, yeah, he was the mastermind and the executioner. I think he was like, I don't trust any of you guys to do this right. I know they found or saw Nicole's car there. I guess he could have been riding in Nicole's car. He... Well, the fact that the Knight of Swords just came out next to the babies, I don't know. They haven't said anything that I've heard that has anything to do with swords or knives. There were speculation that the kids were uh, poisoned, like ethanol. And apparently there was like puke found outside the thing. I guess, so that goes along with it. But like, this is, to me is that they were stabbed. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. Does anyone know if he was a master of anything. Like, was he a master shooter? Was he a master with swords? Like Dylan in Ido 4, she was a master with like machetes or something, allegedly, apparently. Um, this is a saying that he was a master of his trade. Um, I don't know what his trade was, other than like being a scumbag. To me, this is more Chris. Chris was like the master auto, like the, the master mechanic. This is pretty much saying that they were like paid off to me. Which Anna Darko may have made a deal with someone. They were trying to, there was like an acquisition coming up for like $47 billion. So to Anna Darko to like get rid of this couple of million. I mean, Big Oil hasn't always been known for their ethical high ground. And we have the hangman, that's probably Chris just sitting in jail wondering. I don't know. Chris. I don't, I've never felt like his hands were dirty. 
he was like the catalyst. So in these documents, it's saying, and this is on Unjustified Treats, the whole thing. I highly recommend it if you feel like listening. I mean, if you don't feel like listening to it, but you have an opinion and you haven't heard it all, then you have to do it because you can't make an educated decision if you don't have the background, in my opinion. So there's a theory that it's going around that these kids were going to have a explosion at, I think it was like C-19. And with that, a lot of money was going to come. This was the, this, their idea, allegedly. And what they needed, somehow like Chris got involved. It was kind of like all shady. And somehow he was going to like put his family out there, blow them up or something and get paid. I don't really know where his disconnect is or I'm missing something. Um, and then like the DA shut it all down. Tra I think her name's Tracy, the woman, the FBI agent. She was phenomenal. I thought she was great. She even says like, we didn't finish this investigation. This was incomplete. Chris lied about 4 million times. There's no real story, but what, he said he'd go to his grave with a secret. I am guessing his co-conspirators are the secret because somebody got paid. I'm looking at money here. I don't know if it was Shanann, if it was Chris's family. Because one of the points I thought was a great point was a plea deal. Part of a plea deal is like a deal to trade. Like I give you information and you don't send me death row. At that time, Colorado had death, a death penalty. But their point was that there is no trade. Chris just signed these papers and just serving like five life sentences in this lifetime and next probably. And so there was nothing that the DA traded him. But these papers have not been released. This is part of like... They're not released. There's like about 200 pages that we'll never see. The FBI has like a 90 year wait unless. So what I'm seeing here is like Troy was the mastermind and the executioner. Somebody was paid off on this. I heard that NK's in witness protection. Who are they protecting her from? There's not like vigilantes out here trying to find an NK, unless there is. Like NK could have been caught up in something way bigger. I'm guessing she probably was because they also said she had a safe house in Denver. Who needs a safe house? Um, I don't know if it was her, or her family. I have i don't know anything about her family, but apparently her dad's a big wig. That's why she brought him to the interview so he could, like, intimidate the cops. This was out, allegedly, according to all this stuff. It was out of the cops' hands. It was, like, out of the FBI's hands. This was in the hands of an entity that we'll never know, allegedly. And that's what this is saying. It's like, even Troy got paid off. Chris's family is doing just fine. Shanann's family is doing fine. NK's family is doing fine. Like, they shut it all down by paying people off is what this looks like to me. And the magician. So they came out with a story, fed the public a bunch of crap. I would say crap. Like, it didn't make sense from the beginning. And the magician is... Like, as above, so below. He's also only grade two in the, like, hierarchy of the hero. He's only realizing that he was born with everything he needs. So it's like, he's not the master of anything. He's like a baby. But that's the old traditional way of reading. You can read it also. It's like the magician is smoke and mirrors. It's like the moon. Yeah, I would say that there's a lot of red herrings and there was a lot of, and a red herring is like, a lot of what they're doing in Idaho actually is like, oh, or even in 
the down the hill, the girls in Delphi. Look at this guy we're like killing. So you don't look over here. Um, what is that guy's name? He's like getting charged with it. And it, it literally looks like they're drip drop said like shock therapy. It looks to me like he's like on chemo. He looks very ill to me. Um, and then we have the hermit. This is like the mat. I would say this is like the mastermind behind this. Not so we're working in layers here. So these guys conspired. I don't know how Shanann got caught up in it because somehow Chris got caught up in it. But like they were just like kind of a byproduct of this plan to blow up E13 or E19 or whatever that oil site number was. This kid Troy on these cards is like the, he thought of blowing it up and he was the executioner and he was in the car to get rid of it. So that's one part of this onion. Then the next part is this family annihilator. Then the next part is like the oil company that like was right in the middle of an acquisition for billions of dollars and they did not want this name attached. So they like, everything was shut down within three months. Like, I mean, it yells corruption, goes without saying, but it also is saying like, there's a lot of money here and they were washing their hands of it. So I don't know what Troy's like. So this to me, this is the hermit. This is not the kids in the bottom that were like, concocting the plan this is like the mastermind that we'll never hear about this is like the guy who's writing the checks like if we get the emperor with this hermit then like this is the like seven of swords seven of swords is more of he's like a thief it's also lots of chatter and because Nicole like conveniently deleted her. This is a lot of electronic communications. It's also like bad luck stealing. I mean, they stole lives, they stole futures. It's not a great card. We have three, two sevens so far. Five of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. This, this could go next to our Hermit. It's like writing the checks. We have the King and the Queen of Pentacles. I don't know. To me, this is like a big farm on Black Rock, it's like that kind of thing. Like you don't really know who's behind it. Got the Ace of Pentacles. This is a contract. This is like, Chris, go ahead and sign your life away. You're, we've got you nailed on these four killings or three killings, they didn't charge for Nico. And there is debate about that because like Nico might this is a really sensitive subject, so trigger warning for anyone who's been pregnant. Um, he m might have died in, in the womb. Apparently her symptoms that she had in South Carolina, or I'm sorry, in Arizona, were representative of that. So she might have miscarried and that's why they didn't charge him with it. I don't really know. Um, but this is the contract, this is him allegedly the AG, oh yeah, the district attorney, like went from Colorado to South Carolina for three days. Hush, hush, no one knew about it. And then they came back. There's some unanswered questions, but this is a contract. This is saying, yeah, I'll take the heat. They, I mean, they had this kid by the balls. He had nowhere to run, nowhere to go. He was holding the like hot potato. And this is saying that you're going to sign this and you're going to shut your mouth. And 
maybe we'll protect you by not putting you in. Apparently he's been moved to a prison that's more of like a mental hospital or something. I don't know. Don't quote me on this. Please do your own research. But it's not like a prison where real hardened criminals are going to be allegedly. It's like, I guess it's like the summer camp of prisons if that are, you need to have one. Here's a star. To me, this is alcohol and drugs. And allegedly, they didn't do a um, drug test on him. King of Cups. I don't know. I'm curious to see if Troy's financial situation has changed. No one knows what somebody out there. Um, I'll check Reddit to see what Nicole's new name is. I'm guess somebody is like paying everyone off. Like Shanann's family, are they wealthy now? Is Chris Watts' family wealthy now? NK, somebody is going to have her real, her new name. I, allegedly, they scrubbed the internet of all of her information, but we can find it. So I'm going to look for her. What this is saying is, like, this is very similar to the Idaho 4, that there's, like, sections within sections within layers. And what this is saying is, like, there was a plan that was executed, quite literally, and thought of by Troy. But then, like, Big Daddy money came in. And this is not like Big Daddy, my dad's wealthy. This is like Big, big Daddy money. Like, if you're selling the company for $70 billion, a couple million to shut up some kids up will work is what this looks like to me. I, it doesn't look to me like, the brains of this operation are higher than, it's very similar to the Idaho Four. Just got the Knight of Cups. Justice. You know what this could be? Not only is Chris serving about five life sentences, and I'm not laughing about it, I think he deserves that, but it could be that like, because Nicole's life has a huge black shadow around it, like no matter what she's changed her name to, I'm sure somebody has found her. She still has the same, unless she like, a, personality upgrade, face, she looks the same. But I am feeling like they are getting haunted. Like in their dreams, they're not sleeping well. I mean, to me, this is looking like Chris took the heat. He's the hanged man. He was getting tired of it. He couldn't take it anymore. And they had already concocted this idea. Maybe they are much more calculated than I give them credit for. Or anyone's given them credit for. This looks like a very, very well thought out plan. Shanann and the family are the third row down. So that execution is like, a small part of a bigger picture. Why does NK have a safe house in Denver? That's a really great question. And I mean, what we know about safe houses is like, You're running away from something big and bad, whether it's like a shelter. I don't really know what kind of stuff she was involved in, but I can tell you that it was 
who's her dad? Like, why did she think it was a good idea to take her dad to an interview with the police? Like, I guess I need to do some more research on this because 